Hey, it's your boy Tim Heiss, and today in this video, we're going to go into Adobe XD and explore animating type. So I'm definitely excited today to get into exploring animated type with inside Adobe XD. But first, let's take a look at an example. And in, in this example, Anton is animating type behind, well, in the background. So you'd see the animated Earth there, there's animated Mars within the actions of this application. So you can find this on Dribble. But in any other instance, I don't have a like real life example of why you would need to animate type. In my mind, motion or animation with inside the application should be used to excite the user. It should never take, a take away from the main point of the application. So if someone's going to an application and uses it to do something such as to write a list, it should be an extra benefit and it should never take away from that. So without further ado, let me stop doing all this talking and let's jump directly in, just jump directly into creating this animated type with inside Adobe XD. So first you're gonna select the iPhone 6, 7, 8 composition there. Now that we're with inside the application, you're gonna take the text tool and you're gonna go ahead and create your alphabet. So you're gonna do a space at the top and then you're gonna do A through Z. Once you have A through Z done, you want to center the alphabet and then find a suitable font choice for this particular alphabet. I wanted to do something that was a little more modern, something that was skinnier because of what I was doing. Well, I mean, I'm just making an example, so nothing special here. Once you have all that selected, next you're gonna duplicate the alphabet for the longest word. So my longest word is orange, and there's six letters within it. So I'm gonna do apple first, but I'm duplicating my alphabet six times, so it'll fit orange. Next, you can create your word. So my word is apple, and while I'm creating the word apple, I see that there's the letters are a little bit off. So I'm gonna use a baseline. So I'm gonna go over here and go to my rectangle tool, and I'm gonna actually go down and select the line. And so I'm gonna create this line, and then this line creates the baseline for me to add the letters onto it. So I'm now stacking the letters on this baseline so that they all would have that same level playing field and actually look a little nice. Next, we're gonna remove that line and then we're gonna take the rectangle tool and we're going to actually cover up our word apple. We're gonna remove the fill from the rectangle tool and we're also going to remove the stroke around the rectangle. After you remove the stroke, select all the pieces and go into option. You selected all the pieces, go into object and select mask with shape. It's important for you to note that now that we have this mask around the shape, if you do try to scale it up, the letters are going to probably move a little bit. And so you will have to double click the mask and go within, go back in to the alphabet and each one of them, you'll probably have to realign them to make them fit within the mask again. And probably might have to make a new baseline so that they all sit evenly on that baseline. Now you don't have to create a button, but I created a button to create some type of action. This button basically says that if you want it to be an orange, you click here. If you want it to be an apple, you click here. I'm gonna use the color orange for the button orange, and I'm gonna use the color red for the button red. And so when the user clicks on it, it'll change to either the orange or the red, and also the name will also change to either apple or orange. Next, you're gonna duplicate the artboard, and duplicating the artboard is really where the magic happens. Inside of Adobe XD, it's going to look at the names of each of your components. And when the names matches up, it's gonna take and add a keyframe in between them in order to get where it's at. So you ha if you have two things in two different locations, it's basically gonna put enough keyframes in there to show the movement of that. And it can only do that when your layers have the same name. On the new artboard, I updated the button on mine. So I'm gonna make it the apple and I'm gonna change the color as I spoke of previously. And then I'm gonna double click the mask and spell out the word orange. Now with all that completed, I'm gonna go into prototype and I'm gonna connect our two artboards. And don't forget when you collect them, you want to also select auto animate and that's where the magic happens. Just like that, we've animated text with inside Adobe XD. You can also animate numbers. You can make them count up or down, or you can even make them kind of look like they add, depending on what you're doing. And I explained how to do that, which is kind of similar to what we did here in another video. And in this video, you can also follow that tutorial to see how you can animate numbers. 
I want to thank you for taking the time out today to watch this video. I hope I made a better designer out of you yet, but as always, I want to tell you to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, and have a great day, night, or whatever it is. <laughs>